It's all computers and stuff, huh? Engineering. Engineering and stuff, that's great. See, I used to lie to people about what the Texas A&M because I didn't go to college, but I lied about it. So I said Texas A&M because I don't know why Texas A&M, but that's what I did. You know? Like I said, the greatest day of my life was the day I quit drinking because I was completely blown out as an alcoholic and a lot of my friends were still out there. It was really rough. But the worst day of my life was the next day because I had to clean up my act and I had to empty all the ashtrays and I had to dump all the bottles out and straighten out these lies that I've been living with all my life in these holes and stuff. Success. It's the hardest thing in the world. Failure is so easy. Failure is so easy, you just don't even have to show up to fail. Failure is nothing, just leave the page blank. So failure is the easiest thing in the world. Success is the hardest thing in the world. I grew up on Waikiki Beach, I had a great upbringing there with all the Samoans and the Hawaiians and the great beach boys that I knew over there when I was young. And I was on the beach one day, they said, hey kids, you want to be in the movies, you know? I said, oh, that'd be great, what do I have to do? You know, and Troy Downey was uh, doing Hawaiian Eye with Hansi Pons and Connie Stevens, and uh, Troy couldn't surf, so I became his surfing double, and it got me into the movies, and I wanted to uh, uh, try it out. You know, I said, how much money do you make a week? He said, well, I make 3,000 bucks a week. I said, oh my goodness, 3,000 bucks a week. So I went to the mainland, and uh, took a shot at becoming an actor, you know. And then to make a long story short, I did over 100 films, and I did 250 television shows. But during that time, there were some, uh, some great ups and downs in there because at the peak of my career, I started drinking. You know, I started drinking, and I started drinking very heavy and got into cocaine. And the, uh, the reason I could talk about this now, because I'm 20 years sober, you see, being 20 years sober, uh, gives you a little bit of an authority to, to speak about the cocaine and the drugs and things like that. I thank God that those days are over because they brought me to my knees. Let me tell you, there were some very, very rough times towards the end there where I didn't get work and the word got out that I was, was on cocaine. And I had this brilliant, successful career and I was doing everything I could to destroy it. it was, I was on such a...